Welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip, basically about one of those kind of art school relics, AKA some kind of rule that you're supposed to follow. There's a bunch of them that you get saddled with at art school. One of the ones that used to bug me a bunch is that you have to work in a series in order to show real improvement in an area and blah, you know. Eh, whatever. You know, I got force fed a series my senior year and I did mine on shoes because <laughs> I had enough shoes laying around for reference. Um, so, you know, I, I kind of always have had mixed feelings about a series, but I think that's because there's such a pr like kind of pre-described kind of rule for what constitutes a series. And I guess one of the things that bugs me about that idea is that so many art instructors kind of approach a series as if you have to address the same subject in the same way over and over again to get the resulting improvement. And I don't think that's the case. And really, if you subtracted enjoyment out of it, improvement is even further <laughs> on the horizon line from where you will end up being. Um, and here's, here's a couple of proofs um, in, in my uh, view of like how series don't have to be this kind of claustrophobic, like, you know, collar around your neck and stuff like that. They can be a lot more fluid than that. For instance, I have been doing a series. It kind of started accidentally and now I'm totally hooked and I love it and have had a lot of fun with this. This is actually Danny Wagner from Greta Van Fleet. He is the drummer. He's amazing. And there's a lot of like reference material about the whole group on the internet. So there's plenty of like visual material for me to work from. And so it's been a lot of fun. As you can see, these are different media. They're different approaches. There's pen and ink, there's graphite, there's watercolor, there's all kinds of different stuff, but I've seen a really pronounced improvement in the way that I kind of approaching work just from the fact that it's just the same person over and over again. And it's been a heck of a lot of fun. I can't, you know, stress enough how like kind of wonderful in some ways the internet is. Um, and a really str strong like artist community that's on there that's super supportive and wonderful and also Greta Van Fleet fans are some of the best in the world so just saying. Then I also think that there's a lot of constriction that comes with saying that a series has to kind of like come in some pre-described time period like you had to do you know so many pieces in 90 days or something like that it would just that would just suffocate the absolute life out of me but what i realized is that one of um one of my big inspirations for a long long time now has been my daughter v and it doesn't have to be a concentrated time period i've been doing pieces of art of her my husband has too for her entire life and so these are just some samples and you can see how the approach and the technique and all that kind of stuff is vastly different just depending on where i'm at at the time that series of works of her even though it embarrasses the, the total crap out of her i absolutely love it because it is imbued with this emotion and stuff it's unmatched and so the work just comes out differently and just that constant review of her as a subject has been really positive and like meaningful for me and then i think that one of the other ways that a series can choke you to death <laughs> is if it isn't fun um, they need to be fun, man. If you're going to keep readdressing the kind of same thing over and over again, it's got to be fun. You got to be getting some energy back from it. Um, and this last series, I just started. I've only got a couple in the series, but I absolutely love it. I, I don't know. I amuse myself. I call it my classical sculpture series. So all the drawings are based on reference photos from classical sculpture, but I'm focusing exclusively on ones that I find kind of funny. So 
I will see an image. If it makes me think of something instantly, like the first thing that pops in my head, that becomes the title. You can see them here. These are not intended to be really, really serious approaches and stuff like these. These are just graphite sketches of things that just I find random. <laughs> And they've been super fun and I fully intend to continue them. I've got like a little bank of, of imagery that I want to work from built up. I think working in a series this way can be extremely freeing instead of like constricting um, and also a way to kind of expand your notebook of capabilities. So, you know, whatever it is that inspires you, whatever it is that draws your attention and you get that kind of like visceral um, energy punch, that's exactly the the kind of subject matter you should explore through a series and see what kind of great things happen from it. So take a look and enjoy.